Alright, for this video, this is going to be targeting for people who have a Chevy Tahoe, Suburban, GMC Yukon, and possibly an Escalade. If you have this issue where your cruise control light will go on but it won't never engage, I'm going to be showing you what part you got to order and how to replace to fix this issue. So the vehicle we're going to try to get this fixed is my 2007 GMC Yukon. Now this issue is common between the 2007 to the 2015 I believe uh, General Motors SUV models. And to perform this fix, all we gotta do is order a brake light switch, which I'll have it linked in the description for your year model. Okay, to locate this part we gotta replace, it's literally located right above the brake pedal. Just follow the brake pedal all the way up and you'll see this little block. Sorry if it's kinda tough to see, but this square piece right here is what you wanna get off and replace. And to do this, it might vary. I've seen some videos and images and some people saying it's just a screw, a bolt that you have to unbolt. But in my case, I had a clip that I had to remove. And before beginning, let's give ourselves more room by pushing in the e-brake as well as removing the fuse box panel because room down here is very limited. So the tools I'll be using for my, in my case, I had the clip, so I just had to get a flathead and just like squeeze it out. And if your brake like switch is held by the bolt, much more easier you just unbolt it and everything would just slide out and once that's removed you'll be left with something like looking like this just making sure you did remove the little clip with all the cables and then we simply just swap down with the old one and install the new one and then do the entire process in reverse and then everything sh should gently slide back together and just if you have the clip just attach the clip up and then just pull down once it's actually connected and it should automatically clip back on. And the finished project should look exactly like this. And to test and see if everything is connected properly, I suggest pressing down on the brake pedal just in case. And now we're driving, we're at speed and let's now enable cruise control and boom. Cruise control is finally engaged and that's my friends is how you fix your cruise control on these generation General Motor models. So if you found this video useful, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more upcoming car content similar like this one, but until next time, peace.